Hello everybody, welcome back to It's All Me. It's currently the holiday season and we are back in my hometown, Morocco City. And we're currently on the search for the infamous holiday classic, hot chocolate. Or as Tom Hanks says in, Pi uh, not Pineapple Express, it's a completely different movie. A Polar Express, <laughs> hot chocolate. This is Dan Gerd, as you all know. The man and some rando from New York, some weird, stupid person from New York is here too. He's disgusting. What? Disgusting. What are we looking for? Shark fin. How is it not here? It should be right in this general region. Also, I just broke keto and. Um, <clears throat> Dude, nobody cares. Um, I don't believe they have it. They literally have none. Where'd Gert run off to? There's Gert. There's Dan. I bet Tiny would be okay with a, a cup of noodles. She does like her ramen. We're having no luck at all. So we asked where the hot chocolate was and they're all out. So we just started the holiday season. We're all gonna, all, already gonna break Tiny's heart. But Seth has found some pretty nifty gifties here. What do you, what'd you just find? I'm kind of disgusted by this because okay. they have the Scooby-Doo on the thing, right? Mm -hmm. It looks like scoops and Scooby snacks. Yeah. But no, no, they decided to call it Scooby-Doo baked graham crackers sticks. sticks. They're not even snacks. Yeah. I won't buy them just because of that. Yeah, it's not Scooby snacks. I would have taken it. Exactly. Go out to go, man. I get scared. I eat a couple Scoobs snacks. Wash it down with some, with some old, old recipe. People recipe sugar milk. Sugar cookie, milk. sugar cookie milk. Sugar cookie milk. <laughs> sugar cookie milk. Huh? Why do they sell sewing kits in the cookie <laughs> aisle? Yeah, why do they have sewing kits in the cookie aisle? All right, well, no. let's get out of here. Come on, hey guys, let's let's get out of here. here. On to the, on to the next. Right. The candy. Do what? The candy canes in the tree. I hope it's not copyright. <laughs> we don't don't get shows like that in the morning. Nope, we don't. don't. Not at all. <laughs> all right, we are. You can't see me right now, but we're walking out here to this Sukup Safety Home. It's literally in a grain bin. Hopefully, there's no one living in it right now. This is a house. Is there windows? Dude, it's like warm in here or warmer. This is a home, interesting. You definitely have to get some uh, insulation. Yeah, dude. You good, bro? Yeah, I'm cold. Just a little relaxed. Yeah. Yeah, a little too relaxed. Jeez. Oh no, we're just, locked in. <laughs> just listen. Shh. <laughs> Wait for a classic Gert far right now. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, Seth. Why are you peeing in the corner? You can't put that on mine. <laughs> Who is? Go man. <laughs> Where's my water? So we're out here at the lake and we're not entirely sure, but we feel like the water is gone and I'm going to get creeped out if it is. Oh no, it's there. Wow, that bank is... It's... Yeah, I bet that's what these are here to do because it's collapsed. Where are we at, guys? Princess Goldman. 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 That's a trip. Let's go find Goatman. Yeah, let's go find Goatman. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we are currently approaching what is known as Goatman Hollow. And, and uh, this is where we had very strange experiences back in our high school days. We experienced some very real goat experiences. And the story is a guy had goats down the road. They burned to death and he died. He came back to retrieve his goats or whatever. So this is Goatman Hollow. Not a whole lot you can see because it's literally in the middle of the winter time right now. And it's not very bright, but it's just a dark gravel road with trees looming over top, yep. which is why we call it Goatman Hollow. So this is the first time myself, 
Seth and Dan have all been out here as a trio, and honestly, we don't know how long. Ten years, Ten years yeah, strongly possible. This was actually the spot right here. So out here is where it all started. We sat here, we literally heard the hooves of a goat walking towards the van. And this was something that I wasn't familiar with. Our, our old friend Lucas, his dad shared this with him and he was sharing it with us. Were you familiar with it before Lucas? Okay. So Lucas told us about it and it literally we came out here after a football game one night and it literally just came to life. And after that first night, we called Seth. Now Seth, you can attest. You can attest to the absolute horror of that we were going through oh when we called you. But yeah, just horrified. You're like, dude, calm down. Yeah. I can't even understand what you're saying. We must were, have been like sophomores maybe? I think the whole Goatman stuff started like my senior year. I mean, that, my junior year. Okay. Yeah, it could have yeah. been. Yeah. That sounds about right. Yeah, Correct. So yeah. So this year. this would have been our freshman year. Yeah. 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 Okay. So yeah. 2002. 2002 is when us all started. Um. Yeah. You can see, kind of how like it's hollow with the trees looming over top, and one of the scariest things that's ever happened. And I, to this day, have no idea how to explain this. We were actually, if we continue on this road, there's a gravel road that it actually goes out here where the traffic is driving right now. We were sitting there, and we were waiting for people from high school to show up. And when we were waiting there, I kid you not, I had a van back then. And the practice was to always lock the doors when you got to Goatman, always. So the doors were locked and the back right hand side sliding door of my van, something grabbed that door handle and viciously tried to get into our vehicle. And I specifically remember jumping up and looking in all of our mirrors just to make sure that I could see what was doing that. And there was nobody. Absolutely no way. If you really think about it, that could definitely be probably the craziest paranormal experience we've ever been a part of. No, no, no. it wasn't vicious. Dude, I remember it, it was like... It like it was trying. Yeah, it was definitely... I don't remember it as much as you freaking out. Dude, I just could it was not... Your door. It wasn't I could vicious. not believe what was happening. I was like, and I remember looking, and I, was, I literally said, there's nobody out there. And of course, if there was anybody, we would have seen them run to the ditch. We would have seen run, ran over them if they were under the vehicle. There was nobody there. Uh, there are some footprints out here. Take a look at. Really? Along the ditch, right? Well, let's go out here and look. Oh, some bunny tracks. Here's our our tracker, Mr. Dan. I actually saw a goat-looking apparition behind this tree and oh, I walked towards it, and as I walked to it, it literally walked around the tree, and I came around and there was nothing. And it was literally, it was literally a goat man. Like, I'm not even joking. It had goat legs with a big upper human torso and a goat head with horns. Like, tell me that's not demonic. Like, come on, my gosh. All right, and that's goat man. This literally is gonna look like a sequel to your last year's vlog. <laughs> Hey, Steph. Hey. Oh, you need to cut out. Mom's making the grave. Because it's Thanksgiving Day. Almost time to poop for food. Everyone's working. We got all the goodies. All the goodies out here. Look at the food. The pie and the chips and the candy and the cookies. Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 ka -ching. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody from all of us here at the only residence. The it's only residence. Send that to me, Quam. Me too, babe. Oh, I will. Look at this, what? Oh, oh. It's a great reunion. It is. At Taco Tico. Un completely unplanned. Completely unplanned on unplanned. Black Friday <laughs> at the Taco oh, Tico. In Fort Dodge. In Fort Dodge, of all places, all where none people. of us live anymore. No. Day is made, day is complete. Thanksgiving week made. I know, absolutely yes. <laughs> Week, month, year. year. Yes. <laughs> Decade. Decade. <laughs> Boy, she mean mugged this camera. Did she? Yeah. Weird to see Sears going. I know. Her and I sharing so many poops together there. <laughs> oh, dude, that was so <laughs> great. The best stall. Oh, they were. It's quiet. Just a nice single stall. I mean, just off in the distance, you can hear families taking their beautiful family <laughs> photos, and Kurt and I just dropping logs just in a water bowl. Out. Yeah, just. Out. The crew back together again. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Maybe we can get set back in the state for the out of state fair for 2020. Oh, dude. Oh, that'd be glorious. 
I would be good. Love you. Love you guys. So, so cute. Bye, man. Love you, too, bud. Love you, man. Love you, bro. You what? You can pet my beard if you want. So nice. Yeah. We got the rest of the Clem Clan. Yeah. 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 YouTube. <laughs> All right, love you, Clamps. Love you guys. All right, yeah. have a great, yeah. great holiday season. Be blessed. Yes, you too, man. Right, love you guys. Blessed. Double blessed. Ooh, triple blessed. Yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody. We're now entering the Crossroads Mall, and it's basically a dead mall. I work. This used to be a Yonkers over here, and that I worked there for a few shifts, and then I just quit because I didn't want to work on Black Friday. <laughs> few shifts, and I, did, I just quit. Holy crap! It's literally dead in here, but it's it's still decorated. This place used to be bumping, yeah. especially on Friday nights. I don't want it to be in high school. It's always just you could barely walk in. Yeah, this is a place to be. The absolute place to be. Yeah, it's always been super awesome. They got dead Yonkers. Yep, I used to work in there. I worked a register right over there. When customers came in the store, I would hide behind a clothing rack so I wouldn't have to check them out because no one trained me. It's 21, 60% off. <gasps> We're gonna go do some shopping in some of the stores that aren't dead yet. This is really pretty though. It is, they've always done a really good job decorating in here. I know. Also, what's really cool is I'll be promoting Seth's new YouTube channel that he's filming for right now. He's gonna be doing some, like, some dead mall stuff of malls that are going under. And it's gonna be called Ready, Seth, Go. So look for some promotional material regarding that. So this is where it really gets dead. So you got life behind us at Bath and Body. But then literally, you go down the hall and it's, it's empty. Now down here was actually a Sears store. Seth and I used to come and play Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, Game Boy, and that doesn't even exist anymore. They completely tore it down. This was Foot Locker, and it was on my birthday, and I uh, managed to get the guy to sell me a pair of Air Jordan athletic pants that were 65 bucks, and I got them for $5. Foot Locker. All gone. This was a magazine store. Yep. And then that was the magazine store, I think, the bookstore right here. Glicks was on the corner, that was Trade Home. Shoes, this was Foot Locker. They were all, maybe their office wasn't there. No, that's. That was another shoe store. Yeah, that was something different. Looks like maybe it was a recruiting office or something. Yeah, maybe, they, oh, they changed it to an Air Force, yeah. Okay. Wow, looks like they're uh, remodeling these. Yep, there were Sears right there. Used to go there all the time when we were kids. All the time. Pretty crazy, man. Seriously. That, I, remember, I always remember that being walk-ins. It was. Yeah, yeah. Holy crap, I forgot about yeah. that. That's what it was. It wasn't a restaurant, it was Walgreens. The restaurant was down by JC Penney's. Yep. Dang. You don't see Walgreens in malls very often. It's been years since that. It's been a long oh, time since there was that, yeah. Yeah. Because what did it turn they into? They put the fabric store in there. That's right, Hancock Fabrics. Yeah. Is this the bookstore? Yep, this is the bookstore. And there's Bath and Body, still surviving. Back in the day. This is crazy. What are we looking for? Chocolate. Hot chocolate. Chocolate. How is it not here? It should be right here. It should be right in this it's just in general region.